I've been involved in music all my life. My dad was a band and orchestra teacher for some 42 years, so I grew up with a love of, of music, which then grew into a passion for music. I applied in the Jefferson County Schools for a high school band position, and, uh, but I was not granted an inter interview because uh, they weren't hiring women band directors. The following summer, there happened to be two openings, and uh, I talked to the principal at Valley High School, and he believed in me, and he offered me the position. And so the door was now open. When I was in elementary school, I saw her conducting a high school band at the Jefferson County Music Festival in the spring. And I had never seen a woman conductor before in front of an instrumental ensemble. So to actually see her conducting in front of a high school band was quite a revelation for me. I met Melanie Wood when I was in the seventh grade at Stewart High School in Jefferson County. She was my band director. That led to me becoming a band director myself. She made such an impression on me. And it was at that point in, during the seventh and eighth grade years that I decided that I wanted to be a band director. It was a very big deal for us to have a, a female band director. As far as the music was concerned, it didn't make a difference. But it did make a difference in us because we thought we were special because we had her where we were, <laughs> because we had her as our band director. When you see all these students put together what they've learned and then experience the beauty of music and making music together, it's, uh, sometimes it can be a very emotional, overwhelming experience. She's been a, a great friend, both musically and personally, to many of us in Jefferson County and throughout the state. Oh, I'm, I'm retired, but uh, I still like to go back to schools and, and work with the students. You miss the students. You know, once a teacher, always a teacher. I still work with the Master's Men. We sing for worship services, but we also are very active in the community at civic functions, including singing for our governor's inauguration. Of the United States and the Constitution. A woman in charge of 100 plus men. And just that look that Melanie had then as a teacher, and she can still just talk that head and give somebody that look, and you're like, she's not gonna put up with any foolishness. I've often been asked, uh, what's the difference in teaching high school students or uh, working with a men's choir? And uh, I would say it's, it's about the same. I think Melanie's greatest legacy is that she was an outstanding music educator. She certainly uh, set an example for men and women to follow. It was good to break the barrier for women in Jefferson County. But that's that's not where my pride is. My pride is in what the students accomplished. That's where I want the emphasis to be.